Thank you. Hi, I'm Avishka. Um, I'd like everyone to close their eyes, please. So imagine the last meal you had, whether it was lunch just now, breakfast this morning, or even dinner last night. Imagine that an extra two days earlier. And that's what it feels like to be hungry. When I was nine, my family and I took a trip to the other half of the world. We went to India. Every morning, whether it was raining or not, I'd run down the stairs, I'd open the gate, I'd look to the left, look to the right, and look to the left again. Whenever I turned my head to the left, I'd always see a little shack, and that's where our servants lived. So I'd run across the street to the apartment building, up to the third floor, and knock on my friend Shivani's door. So whenever I'd knock on her door, I'd look down at that shack. One day, it was raining, and I saw one of our servants, Krishna, running in with two containers in his hands, and he was going to feed his family with the food in the containers. I thought to myself, how could people be so hungry and work so hard, but some people aren't hungry at all and don't have to work as hard? There are people in the world so hungry, God cannot appear to them except in the form of bread. God usually gives you what you need, and for these people, all they really need is food. In this world, 62% of the hunger is in Asia and the Pacific, 30% in Africa, 6% in Latin America and the Caribbean, and only 2% in developed countries like the US and Canada and most of the United Kingdom. So a main cause for hunger is food wastage. As you can see on the photo of the right, on the right is the Tomatina Festival in Spain. They use 120,000 pounds of tomatoes just for fun and games. So please don't waste tomatoes. <laughs> Unstable markets. Food prices have been inflating, so people can't afford the food that they need. War and displacement. During war, people are taken out of their homes and put into safer environments. But are they really safe if they don't have an access to food? Climate and weather. It may rain every day, or you may be in complete drought. So it's very hard to grow crops. And even, you might have established a, not established, sorry, encountered a natural disaster, such as a hurricane, earthquake, or even a tsunami. So that would wipe off all your, uh, the agricultural system. The lack of investment in agriculture. You cannot pay for farms, so you can't pay for food. Poverty. Just not having money or the right resources to, to have an access to food. Population growth. Right now, our population on Earth is 7.1 billion people. We can feed these 7.1 billion people, but we don't have access to them. So what do most people think? Most people think hunger only takes place in third world countries, but hunger is all over the world. What are ways you can solve this? By donating. There are great organizations like Feel Good, Stop Hunger Now, and Akshaya Patra. Stop Hunger Now has made about 246,000 meals only this week to help solve hunger. They have made about 1.8 million packages of food, and they are helping 65 countries. 88.5% of these donations are put into making food, and the other 11.5 is just used for shipping. So Feel Good has made $1.68 million to help end hunger. They have helped about 16,000 souls. They have 23 active chapters all over the US, and they have put 181,000 hours into this organization, and about 180,000 grilled cheese sandwiches were made. So people have changed their careers for this organization. And for this, you go and you can pay for a grilled cheese. You can pay the price that makes you feel good. And all the money that is put into this organi organization is to help, um, to help hunger and make more grilled cheeses. This is the way I chose to help. I am a part of the DC chapter in Akshayapatra. Akshayapatra in Hindu mythology means 
the pot that gives unlimited food. So their mantra is food for education leads to them having a mental nutrition, which leads to them having a great job, which exits the poverty cycle. And in 2000, they have helped 1,500 souls. By 2001, 30,000 souls. By 2005, they have multiplied by 10 and reached 300,000 souls. By 2009, one million children have gotten an extra meal in a day. And by 2013, they have reached 1.3 million children to, ab uh, be to be able to have a meal every single day. Their goal is to have 5 million children to be able to have a food by 2020. So here's some familiar faces that you can see that endorse this organization. On your left-hand corner is former President Bill Clinton, who's helping serve the, um, so serve the children. In the middle, the President of India, who is joining the children in a meal. And finally, our President Barack Obama, who recently went to India and en endorsed this organization. Another way you can help is by conserving water and food. In America, in a year, we waste 1.3 million tons of food. That can feed enough for maybe a country in Africa or maybe a country in Asia and reduce that 62% or reduce that 30% and spread the word. You might not think telling one person is enough or telling 10 people is enough, but those 10 people could tell 10 people who could tell 10 people. It's like blowing on a dandelion. You'll never know how far it'll go. Thank you.